Good morning, Coleman. Thank you for tuning in to Coleman Today. I'm your host, Dustin Isom, and today is Monday, July 8th. We have a lot to look at in local news today, including information on a jet ski accident involving Alabama Senator Garland Gudger, West Point Middle School's open house schedule, and United Way's Stuff the Bus school supply drive. All of this plus sports, weather, and more, but for now, let's dive into the top stories happening in Coleman today. Alabama Senator Garland Gudger was injured in a jet ski accident on Smith Lake on the afternoon of July 4th. Gudger was airlifted to UAB Hospital and is currently in the ICU, but his prognosis is good, according to an update from Gudger's office. The statement said, While at UAB, he underwent a brief surgical procedure to address internal bleeding and incurred other injuries that doctors are monitoring. The two-term senator is currently in the intensive care unit following his surgery, but his physicians indicate that the prognosis for his recovery is good. Next up, do you know someone who embodies the spirit and dedication needed to uphold the duties of Burgermeister? The role of Burgermeister at the Coleman Oktoberfest is a long-standing tradition that dates back to the festival's inception. Each year, the community nominates and elects an individual to serve as the Burgermeister, who is then honored and assumes the role of host for the festival's proceedings. Vote for who you think should be the next Burgermeister at ColemanOktoberfest.com. And to finish out our top stories, the United Way of Coleman County is gearing up for its 7th annual Stuff the Bus School Supply Drive. The goal of the drive is to stuff a school bus with as many supplies as possible, such as number two pencils, erasers, notebooks, folders, and crayons. The drive will take place July 19th until the 26th, which overlaps with Alabama's tax-free weekend. Donations can be dropped off at the locations on screen. All school supplies donated will benefit Coleman City Schools and Coleman County School students. Now that we have the top stories out of the way, we're going to take a quick break before returning with sports. Discover what's buzzing in Coleman with Community Matters, where every story pops off the page with local flair. It's the magazine that's got the inside track on what's now, what's new, and who's who. Get the lowdown on top eats and 411 on recipes that'll turn up your summer cooking game. Relive our local team's triumphs on the sports fields and pencil in summer's hottest events for fun the whole family will love. Get your copy of Community Matters at the Coleman Tribune, any of the local businesses on screen, or scan the QR code. Hello and welcome back. Now it's time to find out what's going on in the world of sports. Let's start today's sports segment with the latest performance from one of our best local track athletes. Cold Spring standout Nick Fallon was in Mississippi over the weekend competing at this year's USATF Region 6 Junior Olympic Championships, and he returned home with some hardware. Fallon won the 17-18 to year-old division's decathlon, finishing with 5,376 points and qualifying for the National Junior Olympics in College Station, Texas later this month. Fallon put together great showings in the shot put, javelin, discus, pole vault, long jump, high jump, 100-meter dash, 400-meter dash, 110-meter hurdles, and 1,500-meter run to earn the win. Moving over to some college news, Alabama shortstop Justin LeBron was named to D1 Baseball's Freshman All-America First Team over the weekend. The Freshman All-America honor is the third postseason recognition to come LeBron's way after a great 2024 season. He was also selected as a first-teamer on both the NCBWA and Perfect Game Freshman teams. LeBron also earned a spot on the ABCA All-Southeast Region Team and collected first-team All-SEC, Freshman All-SEC, and SEC All-Defensive Team accolades. LeBron started all 57 games for the Tide last season, batting 338 with 9 doubles and 12 home runs. He finished second on the team in hits, average, runs, and stolen bases while finishing third in homers. LeBron led Alabama with 41 hits in league play, tying for sixth among SEC hitters. He also earned an invitation to the USA Baseball Collegiate National Team Camp in North Carolina this summer, where he played on the Summer League Tour. That covers sports for today, but be sure to check with the Coleman Tribune each day for the latest in sports coverage from across the area. We'll be back after this message. Hello and welcome back to Coleman Today. 
Now it's time to speed things up with the news rundown. Four stories in under four minutes. There's still room for your little thespian at this year's theater camp. Led by the esteemed staff members of the Coleman High School Theater and Fine Arts Department, this camp is ideal for budding actors to refine their stage presence and performance skills. Participants will dive into the intricacies of staging a major production with a chance to audition and showcase their talents in the fall alongside the Coleman Community Theater Group. Register online today at colemanrecreation.recdesk.com. The Coleman Electric Co-op is teaming up with the Coleman County Department of Human Resources to provide birthday boxes to as many foster children and children in care as possible through the Birthday Box Summer Give Back Program. The birthday boxes are essentially a celebration in a box, with each packed full of everything needed for a party, including cake mix, a milk and egg substitute, plates, and a banner. Anyone who wishes to help the co-op can donate entire boxes, box contents, or cash. Donations will be accepted until August 23rd and can be made at either co-op location. The Coleman County Bosom Buddies Foundation's largest fundraiser of the year is coming up, and tickets are available now. The funds raised are used by the foundation to assist and support local men and women who are faced with tough financial situations while undergoing cancer and other vital medical treatments. They assist with utility bills, transportation costs to and from treatment, and food cards to ease the burden further. Tickets and sponsorships can be purchased through ColemanBosomBuddies.com or one of the resources on screen. Summer may have just gotten started, but West Point Middle School is already preparing for the new school year. The school announced that sixth grade open house will be Sunday, August 4th from 3 to 5 p.m. with new middle school or orientation to be held in the gym beginning at 3 p.m. Seventh and eighth grade open house will be held Tuesday, August 6th from 3 until 6 p.m. Now for a quick break before we look at the weather ahead and pay our respects with obituaries. I'll be right back after this quick message. Welcome back. We're happy to report that there are no obituaries today, so now let's take a look at today's weather forecast. Today there is a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mainly after 2 p.m. Otherwise, it'll be mostly sunny with a high near 93 and heat index values as high as 100. Tonight, there is a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 1 a.m. and some patchy fog after 1 a.m. Otherwise, it will be mostly cloudy with a low of around 71. Tomorrow night, we'll have a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after 10 a.m. It will be mostly sunny with a high near 92. Tomorrow night, we'll see a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms before 1 a.m. and will be partly cloudy with a low of around 70. That concludes another edition of Coleman Today. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back bright and early tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. For now, I'm Dustin Nyson with Coleman Today, wishing you a marvelous Monday, Coleman.